Carl one of them balls, man. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, one of them balls, man. That's a badass hoodie, though. I ain't even gonna lie. That's what I'm saying. That's an authentic joint. He got that joint from the locker room, man. <laughs> he pulled that joint off one of the offensive linemen. Like, yeah, yeah, come on off that, bro. G. What's up, man? I guess the most talked about fight. Yes. Well, outside of Ryan and Tank this year. Yeah. Littered with controversy. Devin Haney. Vasil Lomachenko. Who's you at winning? I watched it again yesterday. It's hard, it's hard to say that it was a robbery. The reason being, Dev took a lot of the early rounds. Mm-hmm. Lomachenko was still trying to get himself together, trying to figure out what he wanted to do. Another thing is, people say he won, right? When, when Lomachenko win, you see a lot of circus tricks. You see a lot of little, he be having fun in there. He wasn't having fun. He was rumbling. You know, it was a real rumble. Um, and, and kudos to both guys. It was a great fight. You know what I'm saying? I don't take nothing away from neither one of them. I realized, listening to people the last couple of days, people just hate Devin Haney. That's just, that's just what it sums up to. I had it a draw, 7-5 at best for Devin Haney. That was, that was it. it. It don't get no better than that. Loma Chico winning the fight, when you when you fighting a guy who is the undisputed champion of the world, you got to beat the shit out of him. You do. And, and it's crazy because that's a saying in boxing. You got to beat the champ. And... When it comes to Devin Haney, it's like people like they ain't, they just want to see a young boy lose. I don't know why. I don't know what he did. This most of y'all or some of y'all, but young boy did everything he was supposed to do because when we ever see Lomachenko get his body punched in like that, he was getting the shit punched out of his body, and he didn't earn them scars on his face from fucking getting a makeup job. That shit really happened. Like you know what I'm saying? That happens in fights in a real fight. It was a real fight. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what people was looking for, but. I could see where people was being swayed because if you listen to the fight with the sound on, every time Lomachenko threw something or landed something, they started yelling. They even was long mo, long mo. So, so if you don't understand what's going on and you watching the fight, you're going to be thinking that Lomachenko is winning that fight. He wasn't winning the fight. He didn't win the fight. You know what I'm saying? He didn't beat the champ. And I think he was crying because he knew he, he didn't do enough. You know what I'm saying? Not because he thought he won. It's because he didn't. He know he didn't do enough, and he didn't. He really didn't want to get into the interview because he didn't want to say some shit that he get him looked at funny. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, I mean, he really, and he tried to throw some shade. Yeah, Devin not a pound for pound guy. That was corny. I mean, because you lost to him. You know what I mean? Just take the loss. You're 35 years old. You're on the end of your career. It's okay. You know what I mean? That, that young boy, he's 24. Man, he only getting better. And that fight is gonna make him a lot more better because he had to work on a lot of shit being in there. But at the same time, he had to pull off a lot of shit that a lot of people didn't think he would do. When he said he was gonna walk Lomachenko down, he was gonna go after him, he did that. He really did. Now, was he super successful? No. But you could tell Lomachenko respected him. You could tell that. Because a lot of times, Devin Haney had him restart. He had to restart, restart. Meaning, <clears throat> whenever they come out of exchange, Lomachenko wasn't jumping right on him. That mean he was jumping in, jumping out, trying to figure out, all right, no, I'm gonna go in this way this time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go this way. He was trying shit, but it just wasn't successful all the way. Did he have some great rounds? Yeah, he had some great rounds, but lost the fight, fair and square. You know what I mean, you gotta beat the champ. What do you think of the adjustments from, from both fighters? Because Dev is looked at as having the best jab in boxing, yeah. and Loma kind of took that jab away. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. But the adjustments, that's why I said it was a great fight. There was adjustments being made throughout the whole fight. Whenever Devin Haney was slipping, and was on bullshit, Lomachenko would let him know. Like, you on some bullshit, I'm on your ass right now. And that's some times where you see Devin Haney up high in the air, or he falling down trying to get up under some shit. But at the same time, Lomachenko, like I said, he wasn't he wasn't as quick as he always is. He is fast, but he wasn't quick, he wasn't as quick as he always is because he couldn't get out when he wanted to. Mm-hmm. What I mean is when Devin Haney was stepping to him with the jab and, and deciding to go to the body, a lot of times Lomachenko would make you miss. He was getting hit with them body shots. He was getting hit with short uppercuts. He was getting check. He got caught, caught a couple check hooks. Short mm-hmm. right hands down the middle. Shit was getting through there. You know what I'm saying? But it was just a, it was just one of those fights where people wanted Lomachenko to win because of his story and what his country going through and all that. And I, and I feel bad for the people that suffer in the Ukraine. But this is tonight about one, one man versus one man. It's not about a whole country and all that type of shit. And Devin Haney, I felt like one fair and square. And I mean, 7-5 at best, 66, I had it, a draw, but 7-5 at best for Devin Haney.